Did you get caught in the housing bubble of 2008? If you did, then you're probably concerned about history repeating itself with the current market trends. You're not alone. I've had several folks reach out to me and ask me questions about the current market. While watching interest rates rise and seeing the market slow does make us think back to the time that we remember, it's also important to take into consideration what happens historically. And historically, recessions do not result in a housing bubble. As I've said before, the 2008 housing bubble was caused by an oversupply of inventory, lax lending laws, and people cashing out the equity in their houses. And even in October 2022, we still have less homes on the market than we did in 2019. Till we have enough housing for everybody, we're not going to see a housing bubble. What we have seen is what we call aspirational pricing go away. And that's just one more step towards a healthy market. And those lax lending laws that I mentioned, yep, they're gone with the wind too. The last thing that I mentioned that caused the housing bubble, the cash out refinancing, well, I'm proud to report that people have learned their lesson. The average American now has over $300,000 in equity in their home and over 20% of people don't even have a mortgage at all. Want to see graphs and find out where I found all this information? Check out my latest blog post for all the details. As always, I'd love to hear what you think of this. Please reach out to me and let's chat.